welcome back. This is Michelle from Michelle's Empty Nest, and today it is time for what I believe is episode four of Try It Out Thursday. So on the first Thursday of each month, my plan is to have a video for you where I try something out in my craft room stash for the very first time. So I've tried out my new mink, I mean, not my mink, my new cinch that I got for Christmas last year. Um, I tried out my new Sizzix Big Shot Switch. I think that was last month. And I think I did, what else did I do? Oh, I did the Simon Hurley stamping foam. So I don't practice ahead of time. I just come on here and figure out what I can do. So, today we're going to talk about alcohol inks, and I'm going to tell you I have not used them because, quite frankly, I'm scared of them. <laughs> I have a lot of fears that are real, and I have a lot of irrational fears, which is something that I work through with my therapist, but... Um, these have warning labels. They're flammable. You're not supposed to inhale them. The vapor is harmful. Um, you have to be in a well-ventilated area and they stain everything that they touch and I'm just scared of them. But I decided it is time to face that fear and give these things a shot because I love what I see other people do. I know mine is not gonna look like that today. It's probably gonna look like a hot mess, but we have to start somewhere, right? So I have all the supplies. I have the blending solution. I have inks and pearls and alloys and mixatives and I have the puffer. I have different sizes and types of Upo paper. And I think I probably have a couple more packs somewhere. Um, and then I have all of these alcohol inks, if you can see them. The, the bottom tray is things like shimmers and Lindy's powders and the um, liquid water watercolors from pink fresh so the bottom tray is uh, is other stuff but i have this many different alcohol inks and alloys and mixatives and things like that so i need to be using these like really need to be using them to make you know make it be worthwhile to have them take up space in my craft room so what i'm going to do is pull over my glass mat and take a deep breath before I open these up and give it a shot. I'm gonna put you on fast forward and, uh, well, actually, I may not put you on fast forward to start with. I may kind of talk to you about what I'm doing and probably what I'm doing wrong and all that. I have watched Tim Holtz demo, demo videos before on alcohol inks, um, but I'm still nervous. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna go get my glass mat and get set up and hopefully not need gloves. I've seen some people use gloves, but I'm just gonna go for it. Um, so let me get that set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my glass mat and I've pulled out two colors. I've got aquamarine and raspberry. So I think that's the two colors I'm gonna start with. I think when they mix, they will make a pretty purple, hopefully. And I know I'm supposed to use this blending solution to help move things around. Um, Uh-oh, got a little leak. I did open the lid on that one to make sure it didn't have any kind of wrapping on it. And um, I guess it, didn't get closed all the way. All right, so I'm going to set my blending solution there. And then I've seen Tim Holtz do this part right here. So I ought to be good to go, huh? <laughs> all right, so what I've pulled out for my Yupo paper, let me see what it says. 
Um, it is a five by seven and it's just white cardstock. I also have some heavy stock, I think is what it's called. Yes, I also have heavy stock, but this is just white cardstock, the, the Yupo white cardstock. Um, I guess they're the same on both sides. I don't know. So I'm just gonna put a few drops and see what happens. I have no idea. And I know you gotta work pretty fast. Because the drying time is not long. Okay. Well, I'm gonna tell you before I even get any further that it's fun to just blow, ooh, look at that pretty purple color. It's fun to just blow all this stuff around. <laughs> I'll probably have carpal tunnel by tomorrow at this rate, but I, I think I know why some people choose to use a little hair dryer like on low or something, but um, all right, let's, let's try this. I'm just gonna put one, two, three drops. Let's see what I get out of that. Yeah, I get a hot mess. That's what I get. I honestly like it better without the blending solution, but that's probably because I don't know what I'm doing with the blending solution. So let's just put some more. Let's just load it up and see what happens. When all else fails, just add some more, right? Okay, yeah, this is um <laughs> this is tiring on the on the wrist and the hand. Okay, what do we need to do to salvage this here? I really do like it better just with ink colors, I'm thinking. And I don't know, maybe I'm not working fast enough. I'm not really sure. All right, let's put some more pink. Like maybe here and here. Oh look, I'm supposed to be keeping these situated so I don't get the tops crooked. I really do like where they're blending together and giving that purple color. That's really pretty. Um, okay, so then I have this mixative called Snowcap. Some of them I think you're supposed to shake. I'm gonna guess this is one because it looks like most of the stuff is at the bottom. Um, so I'm guessing this is just gonna make some little white blobs. So let's see what that does. Okay. Kind of trying to do a second layer to get it a little more intense of a white, but it does kind of keep soaking up the color up under it, and I'm sure that's probably what it's supposed to do. Um, and then I thought I would try an alloy. Yep, it has a little ball in it to shake. And this color is sterling. So, whoa, see that's it's probably not good right there. Probably not good. 
And I may not be using anywhere near enough of these products. I really don't know. If you could tell, but I didn't know. Hmm. Yeah, I think I need a hair dryer. I don't know if my heat tool would work. That might be too strong of a airflow and it might be too hot, but I don't know. Let's just go for it. I don't feel like mine looks like other examples. <laughs> that I've seen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. It's interesting. It's interesting. All right. I'm going to put that one to the side and um, cover these back up over here. And maybe I'll try some different colors and maybe some kind of different approach. I'm not sure. I do have these pearls that have a little shaker ball in them as well. And I'm just guessing that maybe they have a, a little different appearance to them, but still have some translucency left, I'm guessing. Um, so let's play with it. Let's see what it does. I'm just going to load it up, friends. Loading it up. Yeah, so a little bit maybe of a creamier kind of texture and sheen. These are, I would say, a little more uniform in their shininess, whereas this one almost has a little bit of a texture on the shininess. I don't know. And those of you that know how to do this are probably about to have a heart attack right now. I am pretty certain of that. I am probably making you freak out. And you're saying, Michelle, you're supposed to do it this way. No, do it another way. That's okay. I'll figure it out one day. <laughs> I will figure it out one day. All right, now, let me see. I used those two up there. What would look good with this one? What have I got over here? Let me think what I could do. Um, ooh, I have a mixative called Pearl. Maybe that would be kind of neat. I think these are shakers too. They just don't have a little ball in them. All right, let's see what this one does. Is that dry? I kind of wonder, like, if I let it be all the way dry, is that gonna help my layering efforts any at all? And the answer is probably no, because I probably don't know what I'm doing. Well, I, I don't know what I'm doing, That's that's for sure. Hmm. 
Not really sure how to use these mixatives because neither one has really impressed me that much and I know that they probably should be impressing me. Um, still feels a little tacky in a couple places, but I guess overall it's probably dry to most of the areas. Well, this just looks like a bigger mess than the first one did. We're going in the wrong direction, friends. So, um, I think what I'm going to do, I still want to play some more because it is fun, even though I don't have a clue. Um, so, I think I may just put you on fast forward now and just try a few more and see what happens. <laughs>
I'm going to have to stop there because both of my wrists are killing me from using this little bulb thing. Um, I definitely think using a hair dryer would be better or um, like the maybe the Ranger heat it tool. My understanding is that doesn't blow quite as hard or as hot as uh, some other heat tools do. Um, I don't have a hair dryer that blows very low. Mine is like supersonic. Otherwise, I would have gone to get it. But um, I don't know. I'm gonna let my hands rest a bit and then I'm probably gonna play some more because it's very addictive. It's very fun. Um, and I will definitely be playing with these a lot more to just, if nothing else, just for creative play. Um, the last one that I did, I just decided to stick with that one color. And I think that um, doing that allowed me to kind of figure out, did I want to uh, puff more from the top or the side and kind of doing the two-handed thing to go ahead and get the puffing going on before the alcohol ink had time to start drying. Just those couple of seconds makes a difference. Um, so, and just seeing what happens when you layer on top of something else and, you know, maybe do a different puffing technique over something that you've already done. So, um, there's a lot to learn here for sure. A lot. Um, I was liking this one until I put the alloys or the mixtives or whatever it was I put in there. And so I, I'm going to have to practice with the alloys and things because I am not getting good results on either one of those. This one's just a real hot mess right here. This one I had high hopes for of making a pretty green color. And I did get a deeper green. I got really close to mud there for a second because this yellow, um, I mean, it looks pretty pretty yellow on the label, but it has some orange to it. So I almost had the blue and orange making brown there for a second. So I had to kind of go back in and add some more blue to overpower that a bit. But I think it kind of has a neat look to it as well. So if I get some more done in the next, I don't know, hour or two, I may put some close-ups of those at the end as well, just so you can see if I got any better, because <laughs> I'm definitely not good yet. But um, I would say if you have been on the fence about trying alcohol inks, don't worry about the, um, I mean, worry about the rules, but don't let the fact that they're flammable and that you need to be in a well-ventilated area or not inhale, don't let that stop you from trying these out because they are an awful lot of fun. Um, probably the most fun I've had playing around with something in a long time. And you can do just, you know, a multitude of things with them. So I have a ceiling fan going in here and then I have another little fan at my feet that hopefully you haven't been able to hear while I'm talking. Um, and I really didn't smell anything the whole time I was playing around. Now, I didn't put my nose right down there in it, but um, I, I never felt like I was inhaling something that I didn't need to inhale. So. Um, so yeah, um, I, I can't really tell you like it, yeah, it works. No, it doesn't work. I mean, they obviously work because I've seen beautiful creations from other people. Um, but for me, I still need to practice <laughs> an awful lot, but I can tell you they were a, a whole lot of fun. So, um, I think I'll end the video there, let my wrist rest for a little bit and then play some more. And um, I will link below some of these tools and things that I've used in case you're interested in checking those out. And if you have any questions or comments, if you have some tips, my goodness, if you have some tips, please leave them below in the comment section. I would love to hear from some of you who have more experience playing with these alcohol inks than I do. So until I see you in the next video, take care of yourself, do something good for yourself, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.